If you were at the talk on Monday, I think, with Marion and uh, Sai, they, at the very end, they put up a slide of a list of other features in Visual C, C++. It was there for about a, a second. And if you're very fast, you'd read one line there, and you have no clue what it was. And I felt that this fe uh, fe uh, feature, which I'll give you the name later, this feature, I think, deserves a bit more time, a bit more exposure, uh, mostly because I was a person who ranted about the, 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 is the issue and got, got it fixed in the, I the I IDE. Oh, I'm not, I'm not displaying here. Oh. I am now. Yes, sorry, I wasn't in enough. This is the code, C++20, it's got the familiar te uh, templates, in, uh, there's a familiar parameter, template pr pr parameter syn syn uh, syntax for, la for lambdas. Uh, just a quick validation that I'm not cheating here, it does compile. Some of you have been paying attention, you may have heard in some talks have given that Visual C++, C++ after many, many years, is moving away from what Bjarne calls to, uh, token soup. And we actually now have a proper a, a, AST. And the lamb, uh, what I've been doing in the last couple of years is slowly but, sure, but, sure, but surely migrating areas off the compiler to use the, 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 the AST. Uh, uh, pack expansions was the first one I tried. Fold, fold expressions are only done with a new uh, parser. And the last uh, winter, I spent time moving over to the lambdas over to use a new par uh, par uh, parser. So I was able to do this in about a day because you have the right tools. It's really e easy. So if you have an a a AST, the first thing you do is you start to add a visitor. And the first one you add is a dumper. So that takes the, tree, the, the AST in prints out a textual rep a representation. You add another vi vi visitor, and another one, and an an another one. And then if you're lucky, you have a really smart guy in your team who says, stop, we don't need 10 vi uh, visitors, we need one generic vi uh, visitor. So in our case, we did have a very cl uh, clever guy, Jian Fan, who went off and produced a generic visitor. Vi uh, vi a visitor. We don't do it for this class because it's very special case, but we do it for, for other cl uh, classes. So you're doing debugging, and I had a bug in code very similar to what to what to what to what I showed, and you go through, and you include the he the headers, and you hit here. If you have, I, it's this case where you have a lambda, a nested la, uh, la, uh, a lambda, which c captures something generic from the enclosing la, uh, lambda. You need to defer that until you uh, create, to so instantiate the function call operator. So this takes the pars, pars tree for the nested la, uh, la, uh, lambda and extends it out to a longer life, 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 lifetime because it needs to live a lot long, a lo, a lo, a longer. Fine, good. So I hit, I hit th this point, went on and got to here. And I was looking at the code and saying, why are we here? I don't think we should be here. Something's gone wrong further up the stack. So I'm in the debu 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 debugger. You do what everybody says. You bring up the call, call stack. And I forgot to clear it. And you get this. And you think, oh, sorry, I just pull it out here. I'll try extending it a bit. <laughs> nope, doesn't help. In my office, I have three mo uh, mo mo monitors, I had this window stretched the whole way across all three, and I still couldn't see what, what I wanted. So I went to the IDE team, and I'm really running out of time here. I said, can you do anything? They said, yes. So you right-click on this, go down to the new show, you right-click this, unclick show template 
arguments, it removes them, and now you can see the stru structure of your call, call stack. If you want them back again, you put them back. So that's a small fe fe feature. It really worked, worked for me. It helped me. Uh, so I think it deserves a little bit of a wider exposure. Thank you.